Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, this morning I was going there on YouTube and I had no intentions of doing a video today and by the way it's Sunday the 16th of December. Um, but I had no intentions of doing a video today. I needed to shave, I got like four days growth. But I saw a video and it was just like, I gotta do that. And as you can see from the title, this is a three razor tag video shave. Anyways, so if you're subscribed to Kevy Parr or Kevy Shaves, you've probably seen the video already. But for those of you who haven't, he's a great YouTuber. Go ahead and check him out, Kevy Shaves. But anyways, <clears throat> Pardon me guys, I had to clear my throat and get a drink of water. Anyways, so I'm watching Kevy's video today and I thought, man, I gotta do that. Anyways, um, he was tagged in a video. I wasn't tagged by him, but he encouraged um, other YouTubers to do it. So I figured what the heck, good way to mix it up. But anyways, the shave is where you do a shave using, you can use whatever brush you want, whatever soap, whatever blade. But you have to use three razors. And then at the end of the video, go ahead and tag um, other, other YouTubers. So I figured, you know what? That sounds interesting. I think I'll do it. So before I go ahead and talk about the razors, let's take a look at the rest of the stuff I'm going to use. The brush is going to be my Razor Rock 2 Band Finest 24mm brush in their acrylic barber handle. Love that brush. Solid acrylic, nice weight. Absolutely wonderful brush for the cost. The soap will be Wickham's La Bleu. Mm, based off of the Chanel La Bleu for men. Or, I think it's Chanel, I'm not sure. But anyways, but the razors I'm going to be using, and each razor is going to have a different blade, because this shave I'm going to be using, well, let's just go ahead and look. The first razor is a Sedef, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Shivet from Turkey. This I got from Carl Kiefer. Or C. Kiefer. Um, and the blade is a Perma Sharp half blade. And it's on its, I can't remember, third or fourth use. If this will be its third or fourth shave. One moment. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but, anyways, in the second razor, I'll use for the second pass will be, it was a gift as well, um, from uh, Dennis O'Drain, and it is my Starling Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Phoenix, or Starling Gem Style Razor. This is a three-piece razor, and it's all aluminum, aircraft grade aluminum, and it has the yellow plate, the more aggressive. Um, this is the V1 Starling, um, which came with the yellow plate and the blue plate. The blue plate, it's just, it's, it's too mild for me. And the blade in that is a Jim Blue Star on its third or fourth shave. I can't remember which. And the third razor, the one I'm going to be doing the um, third pass with, um, the Starling will be second pass, of course, Chevette first. But the third pass will be done by my, and it was a gift, from Johnny Palma, one of my subscribers. Um, Johnny, if you're watching, I love this razor, and it is the Apollo Slant three-piece double-edge razor. Um, it's a little worse for wear, you know, has a little bit of plating issues, but it still gives a wonderful, wonderful shave. Um, decent blade gap on it. And that'll be a good razor, I figured, to do do the third pass with. 
Um, so let's go ahead and let's get shaven. So I hope all of you are doing well. Haven't had a chance to watch his, haven't been having a chance to watch as many videos as I would like. Um, this morning watched Kiefer, see Kiefer in his Silky Smooth Sunday. Uh, watched Trevor B. Um, did a random act of generosity. Going to be giving um, Carl or Kiefer uh, Feather Artist Club Folding Feather Artist Club um, Chevette. Um, with a little bit of a caveat. Um, but Carl's up for the challenge. Um, and he's going to accept the caveat. It's a good load right there. A lot of soap just went ahead and oozed over. So let's wipe the face. We had a bit of a cold snap here where I live, in, here in Bakersfield, or Bakersfield. Um, it was cold for a few days. Now it's doing your spring light temperatures. Oh, hang on guys. You know, I love this, La Blue Soap. Wickham, at one time, you could only get there when... They used to sell here in the U.S., then they stopped selling here in the U.S. because the maker, the artisan, is there in the U.K. Um, they stopped selling over here. And uh, the folks out there at West Coast Shaving, they brought it back, or they're bringing it, you know, they start selling it. And um, the Le Bleu, I got this giveaway on Nick Searle's channel. He had a, pardon me, give white. So, I got in on the giveaway and heard great thing about Wickham's, or heard great things about Wickham's, Wickham soaps. And, um, and uh, ended up winning. Got the loop loop with the matching body bar and a sample of Magnum. And it's just it's a wonderful, wonderful soap. I do intend to buy more. Now this soap is a vegan soap. However, to me, it truly performs like a tallow. Um, just, just absolutely incredible, incredible performance. So, Chevette, where'd you go? There you are. Yeah, I'm getting some Wickham on it. Blade. Hang on, I gotta dry my hands and dry the handle of this chevette. It's not a straight, but it will it will, it will bite you. It will bite you. Um, 
I have been neglecting my Chevette skills, so let's see how it goes. I will definitely not be doing my head with the Chevette. Because, well, I'm just not in the mood for that. <laughs> I've actually got a video where I do. I do my head with a Chevette, and um, that was definitely interesting. Got my neck pretty good there. Didn't cut it, but it's getting it good. Um, yeah. Okay, so. Hang on, guys. I'm going to cheat here next to the goatee real quick. I mean, the Fu Man. Oh yeah, the blade inside the slant is a Shark Super Chrome. Oh, it's third use. I don't know if I mentioned that. Okay, so. Switching over to the other hand. For the right side here. There, not bad. On the cheek, let's see here. Let's see, uh, not too bad. I'm just going to quick little cheat. What the heck? Do a starling cheat there. the food. See Ken Sirs is doing his 8,000 subscriber giveaway.
very nice prize that he has for each of those. For, he's got two prizes going on. Very nice gifts or prizes, I should say. That ends today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get this video out in time. So if uh, you haven't signed up, and you know, I'm sorry if you don't, if you miss it, miss a chance. But you know. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and still got quite a bit of whiskers there on the chin, but I've uh, been too steep. Who knows? Let's try this one more time on the chin. Wickham's got great residual slickness, so. And this will be The last shave with the farm shark. So, with this farm shark blade. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off real fast. Somebody's using their weed eater outside. Let me get a drink here, guys. No blood, no gushers. Haven't struck any red oil, so. Yeah, this one. Too bad finds Badger from Razor Rock. Not bad. Watched a Shaving with Rich video today. No. I eventually would love to get one of his brushes. Um, but, uh, he, uh, shaved with a Neil R41. One of the most aggressive razors on the planet as far as the ease go. And he did it without a handle. The only thing he had to hold, hold on to was that little bitty Reddit post that came out of the bottom of the you know, face plate. So, hats off to you, Rich, if you ever see this video, man. Hats off to you. Um, I'm not quite sure if I would be quite willing to take that risk. So, hats off to you, man. Alright, so... First pass with the Chevette now, not too bad, not the greatest, best first pass I've ever, ever had, but not bad. Of course, I've kind of neglected my, what do you call it, my Chevette skills. Late. So, if you're a Chevette, the Chevette head, if you don't want to call yourself that, oh, you know, I apologize. Anyways, cross the growth with the Starling.
Yep. Yellow plate is definitely much, much better than, uh, than uh, blue plate. At least in my opinion. One moment, guys. Went ahead and closed my bathroom window. One morning about the Starlings, if you're interested in them and you never and you don't own one, they don't have normally the gems in Everready. There's like a um, what do you call it? Little hooks. Um, little hooks to. Uh, On the corners for the corners of the blade. Um, Starlings don't. So if you do. Because they are pretty smooth shavers. I'll give them that. They're smooth shavers. Um, but. If you get one. Keep in mind. That if your blade alignment is off at all, well, it's going to bite you. So Keep that in mind. Anyways, that's the second pass. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, that's time for the third pass. Um, news on my guide, Herbie. Um, medication that he's been on. He's walking good. Not limping at all. So makes me very happy and my girlfriend happy. Makes him very happy too, so and I don't know if I'll be able to get another video out before Christmas, so um If you go out of town from wherever you live for Christmas, drive safe, be careful on those roads. And if you saw my video right after Thanksgiving, shaving with some new stuff, um, which I believe was my last video, yeah. Um, no, shaving with some new stuff. If you saw that video, and um, if you see an accident such as the one I described in that video, then uh, find an alternate route. 
If not, you will be stuck in a nightmare. I guarantee it. Anyhow, um, so yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll do the third pass. Go to the right there. So I'll apply a little more soap. <sighs> okay. Third pass gets green. Razor. Um, now I know that they made an adjustable model. I believe it was called the Micron. Um, I'd love to get one of those. Girlfriend's watching Star Wars. Um, not going to be able to watch it today, but because my brother, well, um, my brother, he had a Bears game to watch, Bears versus the Packers. He is a major Chicago Bears fan so if you saw that game well you know how my brother's mood is but um especially considering that the game was against the Packers so nothing if you live in Wisconsin nothing against you I have no team loyalty. I'm not much of a football fan. But, um, but, my brother, he's definitely loyal to the, to the Bears. He has been since a child, since he was a kid, so. He has, uh, Chicago Bears war mask, a uh, Dick Dick Buckus throwback jersey. Um, had a Chicago Bears beanie. He lost that. Chicago Bear Gloves. Um, a, uh, glass Chicago Bear cutting board. That was a gift from me and my girlfriend. 
he uh, <laughs> he won't even use it for what it was made for. Um, it's orange glass with the Chicago Bears emblem, the big C. So yeah, he. Um, He's got that. Standing up. Next to his Xbox. So, puts it away after football season. Some brings it out for football season. So, he's got a, another Chicago Bears jersey at Long, which is kind of funny because my brother's last name is Long. So, um, well, not kind of funny, you know, he intended to get it, so, anyways, um, so yeah, that's the shade, let's see, got any pickups, a little right there, but yeah, that was, huh, it was a different kind of experience, feeling, first pass the Chevette, and then change it up with, um, the um, single, you know, the Jim Stahl Starling, and then finishing it up with the um, Apollo Slant. So yeah, that was that was cool. One moment, guys. So yeah, it was a different kind of experience. A little bit right there. Maybe one of these times I'll do a three brush shave. Do a shave with a first pass bore, second pass synthetic, third pass badger, or vice versa. You know, put them in that kind of, you know, bore badger. Bore badger synthetic shave. I might do that next time. Maybe I will. Because I kind of use three different blades on this. So, anyways, so yeah, that's the shave. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off, shave my head, and then I'll be back for the post and I'll let you all know who I'm gonna tag. See y'all in a minute. Hey guys, that was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, interesting, and very nice shave, I have to say. Anyways, so let's talk real quick about the gear. The first pass was done, of course, with the Chevette. It went ahead, it just you know, did a pretty good job on the first pass. Second pass was done by the uh, Phoenix Starling with the yellow plate. Um, and that was running. And the Chevette was the Permashar blade, half blade. And the uh, Starling was running the Jim Stainless or Blue Star. I can't remember which. And um, the third pass and the head shave was done by the Vintage... Apollo slant with a shark super chrome and that combination of those three razors gave me probably about 98% BBS shave not quite BBS down here um, got a little spot or two on the noggin but you know what all in all I'm very very happy with that shave so let's go ahead and let's get into the post shave first the Dickinson Switch Hazel. In the description, I'm going to put this as hashtag three razor shave. Uh, there, the title, I think, all. The title will be hashtag. Three razor shave. It's 
So whoever I tag, just go ahead and if you could title it the same. Hashtag three razor shave. Tag video. I'm gonna put tag video. And um that way so you know we can go ahead and kind of keep an eye on it. And yeah, you know, let's see how many let's see how many folks we can go ahead and get to do this. Gonna put a little bit of moisture back in the skin because the past few days was brutally was brutal and a bit well <laughs> brutal for Bakersfield, put it that way. Um, not brutal for California. Um, temperatures in some cases 40s, 50s. Um, so it may not have been any worse than other years, but it was cold. Um, might be been a little bit worse on me because, well, past couple of years it's been a little warmer than usual. And my 49 year old bones, or 40 dang near half century old bones, got used to the warmer winter. Twenty-five years ago, twenty years ago, I would have been like, "Yeah, so it's cold," but not quite anymore. And the aftershave is a vintage aftershave. Let me find it real quick. It was right here. Hang on, guys. Ah, here it is. Anyways, it's my vintage um, Avon. I have the trailer, which has talc, which, yeah, um, I'm going to get rid of them and rinse out. Because, I mean, apparently Johnson & Johnson's talc went ahead and caused issues. And that's modern stuff, so I'd hate to see what the vintage talc could do. But, um, this stuff, if you ain't never seen me use it before, this stuff smells like Pinot Clubman. I love it. And the cool thing is, is when that's empty, I'll just fill it back up with Pinod. And it burns like Pinod. They're very similar. But yeah, it's, um, mm. it's not quite a dead ringer for Pinod, but it is dang close. So. I don't know what the name of it is. I think this might be a tad bit more powdery. Maybe. I'm not sure. But I love it. I absolutely love it. Anyways, so let's go ahead and let's get on to the tags. First one I'm going to tag is the person whom I got the uh, Chevette from. Carl or C. Kiefer. Carl, um, tag. Let's go ahead and let's see you do a three razor shave, buddy. Um, the second one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with somebody who lives up there, who's up there in Canada, and he has visual problems like I do, and that is. Justin, the Red Island Shaver. So, let's see what you got there, buddy. And the third one is a lady. And she's pretty new to YouTube. And it is Jill from She Shaves with Jill. So, Jill, Justin, tag you, the both of you are it as well. So, um, like I said, guys, when you go ahead and when you title your video, just go ahead and put hashtag... Um, Three, you know, three razor shave tag video. Um, 
you know, and let's just go ahead and keep this going. Let's not, let's see how many people want to play. Uh, good game of tag. Good game of shaving tag. Anyways, so that's it for the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, y'all take it easy. And if I don't see you before Christmas, y'all have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year if I don't see you before the year's out. Anyways, um, bye-bye and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade.